Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to Mac Epic here and today I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and set up your new iPhone in 2022 if you're migrating from an Android or an older iPhone. And right over here I've got is an iPhone 11 in 1 to 8 gex version. I mean, you can see it's a completely sealed box and I'm going to show you how to unbox this thing. Let's go! So the first thing we gotta do is remove the seal off of this box and always make sure that your seal is not broken before you purchase and if it's broken just go and return it immediately. And right now we're just taking the top off of this box and you can see how smooth it is. And the first thing we see is the iPhone itself. So there's a pull tab and take your phone out and let's put it aside and see what's in the box. So as you can see, the first thing we get right out of the box is a lightning cable, which is a USB-C to lightning, a meter long cable instead of USB-A to lightning, which we normally got with other iPhones previously. And as you can see, the only thing we get is the cable and some user documentation because Apple decided for some what reason, including a power brick isn't eco-friendly. So, yep, this is all we get. So, I have a quad of leaflets in my hand. The first one is a user guide leaflet, which is going to be necessary for new iPhone users. And the second thing we've got is a SIM ejection tool. And I'm pretty happy we got this because previous iPhones, some of the previous iPhones didn't even get the SIM ejection tool. And also we've got some Apple support documentations and an Apple sticker, which is a bummer because we used to get two Apple stickers and that's my favorite part of unboxing an iPhone. So right now I've got the iPhone itself in my hand and this is an iPhone 11 in black and I'm really loving the look. I'm digging it. And the best part of this unboxing is removing the plastic on your display and I am always loving this part when I'm unboxing an iPhone. So, finally, we are in the setup process and I will be showing you how to set up this iPhone. So, once you've swiped up, the first thing you'll get to select is your language and I will be selecting English as my language and once you've set up your language, you'll be asked to select your country and I'll be selecting Sri Lanka as my country because I live in Sri Lanka and once it's set up, you'll be proceeded to the next page which says Quick Start. So, if you're an existing iPhone user who wants to back up your data from an older iPhone, then Quick Start is the way to do that. So, I'm gonna skip this part and select Setup manually. Once you're done with that, you'll be sent to the next page where it says written and spoken languages where you have to choose preferred languages, keyboard and dictation languages. And if you're okay with the default settings, you can continue or I'm gonna show you how to customize them. So once you've selected customize my settings, then you're gonna go to uh, this page where it says preferred languages and you'll have to select your preferred languages. Press continue and you can select the keyboard languages the same way we did in preferred languages. Once you've done, press continue, then you'll be asked to choose a Wi-Fi network or connect to your iPhone to Mac or PC to activate the iPhone. Or if you want to enable the third option, you gotta make sure you have a SIM card and make sure your SIM card has a data plan already activated because your iPhone is going to use your data. And once you've inserted your SIM card, you can see there's a third option which says use mobile connection which wasn't available previously. So I'm gonna choose that and this process is gonna take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So once you've done that, you'll be sent to the page where it says data and privacy. If you want to know more, you can click on the learn more option but I'm just gonna continue. And then you'll be sent to the page uh, where it says face ID where you can set it up later or right now. But I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now in the setup screen itself. Once you press continue, the instructions will be given on how to set up the face ID. So once you've done that, you need to make sure to align your face with the camera and then rotate your face. And once you've completed your first face ID scan, your iPhone will prompt you to a second face ID scan just for a verification and you need to repeat the same steps again. And once you've completed your second face ID scan, then you're good to go. Once you click continue, your iPhone will prompt you to create a passcode which would have not been a requirement if you had chosen set up your face ID later. Once you've successfully created your passcode, you'll be sent to a page where it says absent data. Now absent data is all about backups. Now if you want to restore your files from your iCloud, the first option is to go and I do not have any backups stored in iCloud so I'm not going to do that. And the second option is to restore a backup from your PC or Mac through iTunes if you have a backup stored in your MacBook or your PC. And the third option is Quick Start which we talked about at the beginning of this video and the fourth option is move from Android. If you're an Android user and you want your data on your new iPhone, then this is the way to do. 
And the fifth option is don't transfer any apps and data. And if you don't have any backups or want to start fresh, you can go with this, but you got to have an Apple ID or you got to create one. Once you've logged in, it's going to ask you for terms and conditions and you got to agree if you want to continue. And once you've read the terms and conditions and click on the agree, it's going to take a few minutes for your Apple ID to be set up on this new device. And once it's set up, you're going to be sent to a screen where it says extra settings. And now you can either continue with the default settings or customize these settings. In this case, I'm going to customize and press continue. And once you've clicked on continue, you'll be asked about location services, whether you want to enable it or disable it but I'm going to enable it for my own users. And once you've enabled the location services, you will be asked about screen time, which is an exclusive feature. And you can either enable it or set it up later, but I'm going to continue with it. And then you're going to be asked about iPhone analytics, whether you want to share it with the Apple or not, but it's better to share. And then you'll be asked whether you want to share your app analytics with the developers or not, but I'm going to share with the developers. And once you're done with them, you'll be asked whether you want to see your display with truth on or not, but I'm going to continue with truth on and then you'll be asked to choose between light and dark mode so i'm going with dark mode because it i love dark and then you'll be asked to select a display scale which is between standard and zoom so i'm going with standard and once you're done you're good to go so you finally set up your iphone but this was only iOS 14. So if you're wondering how to set up the iOS 15, it's basically the same process. The only difference is the startup hello screen, which is redesigned in the iOS 15. And there you go, you finally set up your iPhone and you're good to go. Hey, if this video helped you in some way, just make sure you go and subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment below your thoughts. And if you have any requests, just Put it down there and I just wanted to give you a heads up and I'll catch you on the next one.